Hey, thank you for watching. I'm Pippi Peterson. You can connect with me on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as my website at pippinings.com where you can get your Ridey Row t-shirt. So I'm in the midst of my final wiring for my whole solar setup. And uh, be sure to see that video as well as the, uh, the other full DIY solar installation videos. And some of the things, so if you already have batteries in your RV, it's going to be kind of easy to know what you have to connect to the new batteries because they're already on your current batteries. So I've got on the positive terminal on my current batteries, I actually have five different things connected there. And so I'm going to address those right now. One of those things that's connected is the inverter. Obviously I will rerun, so my current batteries are here in the tongue of my RV. My newer batteries are on the side of my RV in a bin, so they're about 15 feet away. So my new inverter, I will rerun. I mean, it's gonna be about two feet long for that. Right now it's, you know, like 12 feet long or whatever. So then that leaves four other things that still connect to the battery terminal. One of them I can easily trace. It goes straight down to my leveling jacks. Then there are three things, and those other three things, I only have a guess on what they are. One of them, I think, is will go to the solenoid, a little switch that connects to the starter battery, and when I use my uh, alternate start button, where instead of starting off of my, uh, my vehicle battery, let's say it goes dead, I can actually start off the house batteries, I think that one of those is that switch. Another one I am thinking goes to a different switch and that is a switch inside that I can turn off all power to the house batteries. And then the final one, I'm not totally sure. I had so many options in mind. There's a fuse panel up here dedicated to the you know lights that are outside and you know light that's in this little area up here. So there's a fuse panel there that could go to, it could go to maybe the generator. Um, so anyway, for, for this whole rewiring stuff, I need to do a little bit of investigation to make sure I know where these are coming from. So the two that I'm not sure about is this one and this one. And they both go underneath here. So I'm gonna have to get under the RV and see if I can kind of see where they're going underneath here and then probably coming out over here. So I traced this littler one back here and up here and I just cannot get farther back there. I'm going to assume that it is not going to the generator. Worst case if, is if it goes to the generator and I have it hooked up up here with an extension to the new batteries, then it might not get enough power. So if that happens, then I can come and reassess if I need to do some rewiring over here. Next, I am trying to find this bigger one that goes under here and then out here. There's two bigger ones that come out here, so it's kind of hard to tell which one is which. I did come under here, though, and look to see if there's any cables that are going in that direction that are the two-gauge, because I can tell those are two-gauge wires and I don't see any so I think that I it may not be important to know exactly what these are going to and if I've got power troubles later on like you know something's not getting enough power then maybe I can address it more. Instead of relocating or extending the wire length on these cables to come from where they are to go to the new battery positive terminals in the side bin, I will leave them here and I will connect them on this this uh, post. So it's an insulated post. So they'll connect up here and it'll kind of act as a battery. I mean, this won't act as a battery, but it'll, it'll act as where they all come together. And then I will have an extension from the new battery out here. So it's kind of like they're being connected on the post, but it's moved a little farther out. Just like I have, this is the same exact thing that I used for my new positive terminal that is outside of the battery box instead of connecting them into the battery. So this is like a, a separate satellite um, where others will come and then a big wire will go to this. And that happens to be the big cable that's going from the current batteries to the inverter. So since that is already run and it's a big enough cable that it can handle the extra distance 
of because uh, the ones that are connecting on this they're two gauge so I'm running a three aught cable you know 12 feet so it should be able to handle the electricity that's going through it without you know losing any or having too much resistance so I will keep that wire that big cable that's currently coming from these batteries to the inverter but instead of going to the batteries because I would like to remove you know 200 pounds up here uh, I will remove these batteries, they'll connect to this, and then that cable, instead of being to the inverter like it is right now, it'll go to the new battery bank's positive terminal. I'm going to now install this guy, and I think that because they're all long enough to come up here, I might move the post and have it here. Post is installed and awaiting its new cables, so I'm going to kill the power now so I can work with the batteries. Always disconnect your ground first. That will protect your computer on board. So now I want to put pretty much all of these over here. Those are my jacks. This is the mystery one. Oh, and I got another thing here. This is the disconnect switch and then the one below it or one below it's disconnect switch and this is so I got two mystery ones here then a disconnect so they will all go over here they're all connected to the post over here I am not currently connecting this until I'm probably getting my uh, battery cables in today so with this one still connected I can use electricity inside and uh, so that, so you know when I get those other ones in the mail then I'm, I'll be ready to move this one over there and because you can see it's already at the top I'm going to have to get a a nut that has a extended post on top so I can fit all these things so when I am ready to uh, disconnect the power from these current batteries this guy will come off and now act as the the battery extension sorry it'll be from here to uh, you know where it's going out to the front this will move and be the new ground up here and then I need to get these guys connected so that's kind of what I'm waiting on those big cables for so that is remaining if you have any questions or anything you know uh, interest in seeing this all diagrammed out <laughs> you should definitely see it diagrammed out um, you'll find that on my website in the link of this description so that you can kind of understand what's going on better and I always recommend you know doing some sort of diagram because you know you might forget or you know, one thing's running here like especially if you're gonna be reusing cables in different spots anyway if you found any value in this video please give it a thumbs up share it like it and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos in regards to RV living RV renovations RV maintenance RV solar DIY solar stuff and other pip things thanks for watching